Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Just want to talk about some new product releases from Olight. Here I have the Baton 3 Pro uh, in the Silver Ridge color, limited edition from Olight. If I flip to the back of the box here, you can see the, uh, you can freeze this frame here if you want to check out the lumen output. Uh, you can see it does 1500 lumens on turbo. So that's the, the box that came in. This is what the light looks like. Very good looking light. I typically go for a black flashlight, but I really like this Silver Ridge color that they've come out with, sort of a gray with this contour design here. Uh, very, uh, very nicely uh, 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 done and really love the finish on this light and the color. If you, uh, if you look, you'll notice that the UI or the button is a little bit different. They softened some edges over the baton too. Uh, baton 2 has these uh, has some corners on it. Here they've made the button bigger and they've taken these corners off. So it's very much uh, melted uh, features or frictionless features. Uh, so they got rid of some of these hot spots on the light. They've changed the knurling up. You can see the knurling now is a little bit different on the Baton 3. Uh, the clip itself, if we look at how the clip is set up on the light, you can see it's wider, right? Right here it's, it's wider between these two points, whereas here the clip's uh, smaller and uh, probably gives a uh, makes the clip uh, probably a little more uh, stable on the light. Uh, but uh, you can kind of get an idea here of the height, set them beside each other. They're almost the same height. Uh, the uh, Baton 3 Pro is just a little bit taller. If we put them you know, lens to lens, you'll see that about the same diameter. No real difference or change there between the two flashlights. But uh, So that's the Baton 3 Pro. Excellent light. Really like this uh, color, the Silver Ridge uh, 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 design. And, uh, you know, Olight's going to have that new here on their website. Uh, what else do we have here? I've got, uh, so this is a new product here, the Baton 3. Uh, what else is new? They've got this, uh, well, O-Pry 2, little pry bar, which is really nice. I think we're going to, well, we are going to add this to the, uh, the, the, the mini tool pouch uh, that I have a loadout for. Uh, show you the back there, just kind of give you a look at the box real quick. This, I was really impressed with this little tool. Um, it's very nice. I'll show you how it's packaged here real quick. This is how it comes. Pop this guy out. has a little pouch around it. But this tool here, very nice tool. Something I thought was really interesting is they've got this little compartment on the side here, okay, that you can just push this down, open it up, and out comes an assortment of uh, screwdriver bits. And we can insert those into the end here. And we have a, a screwdriver now. I can shut this door. So multiple uh, options there for the screwdriver. Of course, they're flip bits. You can see you got slotted and, and uh, Phillips on this one. Uh, this guy here has a couple of Torx bits on it. Okay. Uh, so I thought that was pretty neat that they integrated that into the handle. And I just opened that up. Pop these two guys back down in there. Shut it. There we go. Uh, of course, you've got a typical cap lifter here on the end. A nice pry bar. If you can see that there, try to show that as best I can. Uh, nice little uh, pry tool. Uh, the cutout in the center, of course, is for turning nuts. We can, I don't have the best illustration here, but I can got this hex set in here I can put in, and you can see you can get a bite on that, and you can turn that. So we have that as part of the tool. Uh, if you look at the back here, you can see it's got uh, a ruler on it. So you get centimeters there, we got inches, inches and centimeters. So inches here on this end of the tool and centimeters here on this edge. So uh, a lot of features for a, a very portable uh, pry tool. So really like this guy, very impressed. Again, that's a, uh, a new release from uh, Olight, the uh, O-Pry 2. So they've definitely made some nice, uh, nice improvements on that guy. Uh, the next item I have here is uh, a great little flashlight from um, Olight. You can see that it's kind of a keychain flashlight. You can freeze that if you want to check out the lumen count on that. It goes up to 180 lumens on this guy. Uh, and you'll see it's the, uh, the i1R2 Pro. Okay, so it's an upgrade of the uh, i1R2 EOS. So this one's really neat. Uh, I have one in black. This one's uh, uh, what they call center, uh, but it's really a nice looking light pop it out of the case here. You can see that it's got some really neat engraving in it. It's got a compass on it. Uh, try to show the uh, markings there on the light. Check that out. It's got O-Fan on the front. Now currently, right now, uh, starting today, it's uh, O-Fan 
uh, OFAN day, uh, meaning Olight has a special pricing going on right now. I have a link in the description. This will be one of the free items they're going to offer if you order. So I have a 10% off code in the description. And this will be one of the free items. And another one will be one of two random items you can get. So there it is, engrave the uh, i1r2 pro on the back excellent light the way this works is you um you spin the light and it turns on right so it's off if i turn a little bit it goes to a lower mode keep turning it and we get the highest setting that 180 lumens back it off that's how you turn it off so it's great for having on a keychain it's not going to get switched on and off by accident of course it's got the um it tells around the bottom there too by the way it's marked to show you you know off and high and low and how that works now if i just keep unscrewing this it pops up and you'll see that it reveals a USB-C uh, port right here that uh, you can hook up to to charge the light. So uh, very handy light. Got a nice little O-ring there too, by the way. Might as well show that. Uh, but I really like this light. Really nice um, um, light. You know, if you already have one, it's a great one to get as an extra light. Would make an excellent gift. Really interesting with the uh, uh, that compass on there. So nice little product there from uh, O-Light. Like I said, right now it's a freebie if you go to their, uh, their site. So... Nice, uh, nice touch there. So I think that one's definitely worth checking out. Now, something here that I really find interesting is this. Uh, this is also new, the uh, Olight Array 2, uh, and it's in orange. Okay, outputs, uh, you know, 1500 lumens. Uh, we'll check out the back here. You can look at the specs, and you can freeze frame this if you want uh, to check out the, uh, the lumen output. Right, there's 1500 lumens on its highest setting, uh, and you get your run times there. You can see it's IPX4. Uh, but this light, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't really do a lot with, uh, headlamps, but, uh, I do like, uh, I do use one of their lights, lights for a, uh, for a, as a hat light, I clip it on my hat, but this is a, a headlamp and, uh, really interesting, uh, product here. Uh, let's just pop it out of the package. I've got it here pretty much as it came to me. You got a lens cover on here that you can take off there. Of course. Now we pull it out, got a USB-C cable to charge it. And um, it's got a battery pack on the back of it. So you're going to get an excellent runtime there. And, you know, there's the capacity of it, right? You can see that it's uh, uh, 3350 milliamps uh, uh, so, uh, or milliamp hours. So good, uh, good runtime there. Uh, also has a USB-C port there on the bottom. You can see that's how you charge it up. comes with the cable. Uh, but, you know, really like the fact that uh, they put the weight of this uh, battery into the back of the light, right? So you have this very small light on the front of the headlamp. Uh, really nice uh, anodized orange color, really a good looking light. And uh, so how does it work? Uh, you can see, of course, it's got the cable that runs around the side there uh, that gives it its power. Uh, you can, you know, if you, if you tap this once, it turns on. And if I were to double tap it, well, actually, if I hold it down, it's going to get brighter and brighter. And it's going to switch to the mode just like any Olight light would. Okay. If I double tap it, it goes to the next mode, which is a spotlight. So you have an area light here, which is what you're going to need on a hat light, and then a spotlight over on the other side. Double tap it again as this red light. So for operating at nighttime or uh, when you're, you know, tracks less, less bugs, anytime you have a desire for a, a red light. So if I double tap it again, it goes back to the area light mode. So I'm going to turn it off here so I can explain. So this is the uh, area light here, which of course it defaults to. That's what you're going to be using with the hat light. And over here you have a spotlight. Now, what really makes this interesting though and, and, and impressive is that if you uh, turn this on, and let's say I want to make it brighter, it's a hands free light. Um, and so it has a hand wave control. So if I were to wave up on the light, it gets brighter. Wave up again, gets brighter, right? I can change the modes without having to fumble around and look for the switch, which is easy to find. I mean, it's not like it's hard to find that switch, but even easier if I can just wave past it. So if I wave down, it gets dimmer, right? So up brighter, down dimmer. Okay. Now, if I were to wave from, uh, to the right side here, I believe it's going to turn the modes where it turns both lights on. I wave back, goes back to just the area light. So really nice that it has that, that hands-free feature uh, that you can uh, incorporate with this light. Great additional feature. Makes a lot of sense if you're using a hat light, right? So again, if I wave up, it's really, really intuitive. It's going to get brighter, wave down, it gets dimmer. If I wave to the right, turns on that, that uh, spotlight that it has, okay? And if I come back, turns it back to just an area light. So really, really nice uh, light from Olight. Very impressed with this. Uh, and also with sort of the uh, quick, I like the headband. It's sort of a quick adjustment headband. I think where you uh, sort of pull this, uh, have it right, you pull this around 
and you can quickly you know adjust it for uh, different uh, different size uh, uh, heads for people right so if you're sharing this you're using it you know or if you have a hat on or something you can quickly change the shape and the size of this and again it's very balanced with this battery being on the back so you know you don't really even you can't even really tell you have this light on the front so super impressed with the uh, Olight Array 2 Pro and again that's uh, another new release from Olight so as I mentioned earlier I'll have links in the description uh, they are having the, the uh, their event the uh, Olight OFAN event again a great opportunity to get uh, uh, you know, a free flashlight and this uh, center flashlight and another free item they'll, they'll have with it, get 10% off and, and all these items are on sale, including the, uh, the Baton 3 Pro. So uh, check it out. Uh, uh, that's going to be uh, September 19th. And uh, uh, let me know in the comments what you think of these items. I think it's really some, some great products here from Olight. Always super impressed with them. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe and uh, it helps me continue to bring this content to the channel. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.